Hello dear students and friends, welcome to Billion Hope. This is your mentor Sandy bringing you AI for real impact. So we are all confronted with deep fake technology, basically the misuse of AI to create realistic looking but fake videos, images, audio, cloning and stuff. And people are extremely worried that it can destabilize society. Before I take you into deep fake and the crisis it has slowly started to create and the solutions for it, they exist. I have a fantastic story to share with you. So listen to the story, a wonderful story. This is the picture of planet Mars. Indeed, man has reached Mars and this picture was taken from Mars. And there is a very big hypothesis about whether life ever evolved on Mars and then it was extinguished due to many technical reasons. But a recent scientific survey found something amazing on Mars. It is absolutely unbelievable, but it is true. They actually found that once upon a time, several billion years ago, a great civilization flourished. They actually did AI and they were great mentors at that time, billions of years ago. And this picture is proof. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and students, welcome to the era of the fake technology. As you can see, this picture looks absolutely real as if it's from planet Mars. But common sense tells us that this cannot be true, right? So that is the power of common sense which humans possess, which no AI does, no robot does. So 99.99% human beings will simply laugh this picture away because this is just not possible. We know it. And if somebody argues, then we won't even get into a counter argument. Welcome to Deep Fake Technology Exposed. How wrong AI use leads to a global trust crisis. This is part of my playlist, AI Affairs. I will be regularly bringing you current affairs on AI. So what exactly is happening because of this deep fake technology? Let's take a look. What are deep fakes? When AI tools which are supposed to do a force multiplication amplify your daily productivity, they are repurposed to create images, videos, audios and other things clone real human beings with a malicious intent. As long as the intent is beneficial, pure humor or pure productivity, there is no problem. But the moment malice enters into the picture, deep fake becomes a global crisis. So this is what deep fake is. And because it can fool anyone, as we just saw that this billion hopes energy drink was found on Mars, this image looks so realistic, but then it is absolutely a fake generated image. This is good for humor, but this cannot be used in the real world. The problem now is that many AI tools are available, which are affordable, very easy to use, and which do not even demand a lot of compute, that is computation power or dedicated internet, nothing. You can just plug and play and you can create clones of anything. These are some of the most known deep fake tools, deep face lab, face swap, Zao, reface, descript, overdub, 11 labs. Now they do not say that you should create deep fakes to fool people. They have a legit use case for companies that are promoting their own brand. For example, a company wants to put the CEO's face in certain funny situations or for branding extension purposes, it is perfectly legitimate to do that. The problem starts when fun users or productive users, they bleed into the malicious territory and people and scammers then start actually defrauding people. And this slowly is turning into an epidemic leading to governance response also. Various policymakers and governments now realize that people who are not digital natives, not very savvy with the idea of AI itself, forget using AI, who may not even know what AI is, they can be easily taken in by very simple generated fake images. So that is a problem. I shared the names of these to warn you against misusing these tools. There are two kinds of problems happening. There is a very, very funny and tragic news I came across. 
In some cities, the food aggregating companies like Swiggy, Zomato and many other, they have reported that regular customers, some regular Indian customers, and I'm sure this must be happening across the world, have started demanding refunds on high-value deliveries showing totally morphed pictures of cake. So somebody got a big cake, 2,000 rupees worth. He morphed and created a deep fake using some LLM tool or some other AI tool that I just shared that the cake was melted and damaged when it reached me. And the image looked so real that the food aggregator had to refund 70 or 80 percent of the money that was charged. And if people at a retail consumer level start using image technology to fake for refunds, that is a serious problem. Why exactly? Because society, human society, which is built on the foundation of trust, human trust is everything. If I do 10 transactions in a day, there is a blind trust element involved. If I have to actually create a zero trust environment, zero trust in a scientific sense, like Bitcoin and blockchains are all zero trust environment, it is not possible in the human society. We do not run on blockchain, right? It will be a big problem. So we now find that day to day people are defrauding food aggregating companies. Then there are identity theft scams happening every day. Then reputational damage by creating deep fake videos and trying to extort money or else I will tell the world kind and entire insurance claims getting fabricated. So this is at a retail consumer citizen level where they feel that they should cheat the company because the company is also cheaters or the person himself has this tendency to cheat. So that is highly objectionable and citizens should never involve themselves with this. But the bigger risk that you see is what's happening at the societal and systemic level. This is extremely dangerous for the whole world. You have political destabilization because entire speech can be fabricated. And there's a finer point here. If suppose there is a party X in a direct context with party B and party X from its official Twitter X handle or WhatsApp channel or Facebook or whatever, post a fake video of the opponent with a humorous and satirical uh, caption, everybody understand that this is pulling each other's leg, which is perfectly allowed because the other side is also doing it. The problem is when they do it insidiously below the radar, silently spreading it in the groups, not disclosing where it originated. So that will fall in the definition of deep fake. Financial market manipulation by creating absolutely fake news, institutional trust, erosion of truth. These are dangerous things for the human society because the foundation of human society is trust. So is the game lost? Are we all dead already? Oh no, not at all. Just like the malicious actors will use AI for the wrongdoings, we have wonderful tools available, which if embedded in the companies working can actually do absolutely step one analysis before a refund is issued. So to say, just a crude example, you can have pixel and artifact analysis, you can have frequency analysis, Fourier transform. These are all technical terms, but I thought I will just content and logic checks and then metadata and digital signatures. These are actually effective because ultimately, AI is just a human created tool. So some other human will always go into the technique and find the counter of it. And these are the counters. Although as of now, these are very technologically savvy things. And so only resource rich companies are able to deploy them. And so the fraudsters are having a field day trying to fool everyone. So what exactly is the future? Where are we headed? Well, as of now, it seems that we are going to take some time before we come to grips with this emerging menace of uh, defect and slowly society with the help of the administrators and the governance systems will evolve certain situation, rules, norms, regulatory guidelines. And as I said, step one vulnerability checks before any action is taken. So would you not want to know more and more about such topics? I'm absolutely certain. Yes. So then I have an entire website dedicated to topics like these, which I call the current affairs website of AI, insights.billionhopes.ai. And here is the wonderful website. Make sure you check it out immediately. The link is there in the comments. Insights.billionhopes.ai has a collection of hundreds and hundreds of topics pertaining to AI, where 
you get to learn about AI from multiple perspectives. So if you check out the whole list of AI topics which are available and you open up any topic, for example, chat GPT versus Gemini, you will find everything neatly labeled. You click on any label and you will find a whole list of topics related to that label. So this wonderful site is there exactly for you. Go ahead and start making use of it. And would you not want to receive two absolutely free AI newsletters every week in your inbox? Then fill up this newsletter. The link is given there, also given on the site. Those of you who are absolutely new to AI, my courses AI like IM10 and Generative AI like IM10 are wonderful starting points for anyone wanting to learn AI from ground zero. Hope to see you there. So did you enjoy the topic? Suggest more topics in the comment thread. Keep watching, keep learning. This is your mentor Sandy bringing you AI for real impact. See you soon.